Hello, everybody, and welcome to Life Stripes with Kathy and Duke. There we go. All right. <laughs> so we're just going to like jump right into this. Um, our very, very first podcast was about the fact that he went on Instagram and exposed our test, which was talking about little white lies. I still did it for us. Though. Stop it. <laughs> You're too much. So so what we decided to do was, yes, do that as our first episode. Yes. We did it for us. But now we're going to actually talk about little white lies. Yes, okay. Okay. So the first thing we did was we looked up the definition of a lie. And we went straight to dictionary.com. And the definition is a false statement made with deliberate intent to deceive, uh, an intentional untruth, and a falsehood. So what do you think of that? I think there's, there is a such thing as a little white lie. Okay. I believe that. I don't believe that at all, but okay. <laughs> I think a lie is a lie is a lie. I, hey, listen, man. Uh, there, there's sometimes you say a little lie because you want to get out of something. Yeah. Right? And it's not hurting anybody's feelings. Oh, oh okay. No, no, no. Now I definitely need to hear this. How is it that you're going to tell a lie to get out of doing something that it's not going to hurt someone's feelings? Obviously, it involves someone. Listen. And I, I just think, like, for example, I'll give, I'll give you a perfect okay, example. Okay, go ahead. I'm hanging out with the boys. Yeah. My girlfriend calls. Here we go. Says she wants to hang out. Yes. And I say, well, I can't. I got to do something with my mom. That's a little lie. You said what? I got to do something with my mom. Are you kidding me yes. right now? God bless mama. Your mother's still alive. We're talking about <laughs> that. is so wrong on every level right now. His name is Duke Robinson, people. Okay, take note of this guy. Stay clear. Um, no, seriously, though. If you... Okay, let me regroup here. So what you're saying is you want to hang out with your boys. And instead of just saying, I want to hang out with my boys, you were going to tell her that your mom needs you for something? But it depends on how she's going to take it. Well, let's assume she's going to take it badly. Well, then we got to lie. Oh my god! A little white lie. That is not a little white lie because it's now little. she's going to catch you because someone <clears throat> is going to post it on Instagram and you're going to get caught. No. You're, you're hanging out with the boys well, okay, okay, well, we can get into social media in another time, but <laughs> right? I'm not posting that. <laughs> Okay, no, I hear you. But no, that's not a little wet lie, Duke. I'm sorry. Right, well, that is not a little wet lie. So what is it? Because at the end of the day, she's going to get hurt. She's going to find out. She's How going, she going to find, find out? out. I don't know. If someone posts it, somebody it. talks, you know, a bunch of guys hanging out together is bound to get... I'm not telling. Whatever. Okay. And she's probably going to know because more than likely you're watching the game or you're doing something okay. that she's already going to assume you want to be with the boys. And so in her mind, and I'm just speaking for women, I don't listen, maybe not all y'all, but I'm just thinking... Well, why, why can't I be there? Or why can't you just tell me? Okay, how about this? How about yeah. this? Hear me out. So you and your girl are hanging out. They're yeah. Gone. You're going shopping. Okay. She, you know that she's very sensitive about maybe her, her appearance or her weight or whatever. Okay, we're and she's go, trying, okay. And she's trying something there. on in the store. Yeah. And, you're, and she's like, well, how does it look? Okay. And you're like... Halt. Mm. But you have to know who you're talking to. So, 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 this really just comes down to, how can I say it? personality it comes down to okay. it comes down to to how authentic okay. you are the type of friendships that you have right. okay the type of relationships that you have at the end of the day because anybody who knows me don't ask me that question if you don't want the answer okay straight they right. don't ask me i remember okay? she's, a, she's a Virgo just like me <laughs> right. so yeah i understand I, yeah I because it. it makes no sense it. you know and i think i'm 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 truthful to a fault where people actually look at me like really like why would you even say that and i don't want to hurt people's feelings right you know but i say if you don't want the answer honest to god don't ask me okay, and that but, really should tell okay, you what but the that's, answer okay, is but right? that's our personality yeah like, i'd be the same way right right but right. would you agree that people do that though 100 percent. yes so is that is, so is that a is that a little white lie well, okay. Well, no, because it's, okay, so no, it can't be a little white lie because with that lie, this person walks out into public and okay. is being judged by others. Okay. And so I have had many occasions where I'm with my girlfriends right. and we're like, this person really doesn't have any friends. They really can't have friends because who would let them walk down the street this, looking like that? This is true. This right? Is true. It's true. I think you're losing this one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. Round one, you get what you get. Okay. Round one, you get round okay. one. Okay. Right. Honestly, like so. I mean, if we had to come up with a little white lie, because right now we're we're at a lie is a lie is a lie. Okay. So a little white lie is. I think that's our. That's the hard thing. What is a little white lie? I think it. Why it, don't we know I why think we say it that? varies for different people though. Yeah. Right, because everybody's gonna take a little white lie differently. Like. Once they see this episode, they're going to be like, yeah, you know, I've done that. Right, right. Right? And do you take it to heart that, okay, well, that was a big lie and, you know, it's going to blow our friendship out of proportion right. that they, that person finds out that I, I lied about that. Right. Right? So I think 
it really boils down to how how big does that lie carry weight? Wait. Okay. 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 So that, okay. So then that would be, that's a good start. That's a very good start right. actually to a little white lie. Really. It, it's about the context exactly. and, it's, and it's about the effect that it's ultimately going to have on exactly. someone. Okay. So then that's fair. Right. That's fair. I think it's just hard to come up with one actually. It, it is. And I, and I think uh, a lot of people do this all the time where we tell like little, li if you want to call we it, label little, it, we label it as, as little, little white lies lie because yes. it doesn't carry so much weight but so even if you even if you get caught with this little white lie you can kind of play it off and brush it off but the thing right? is that the, the person who the person not affected by it the liar will call it a little white lie but yes. to the person who's yes. receiving it yes the interpretation is very different agreed and so i think once again with respect in a mm -hmm. relationship in a, in, in a partnership or whatever mm -hmm. situation whether it's at work or a, you know or a, your family um it really is just how you have to be careful how the other person is going to receive right. your lie, right. right? And if you know in the end that they find, if they find out that it's a lie, and they're just like, well, why didn't you just tell me? And it's no big deal to them, right. then it's a little white lie. Okay, so let me ask you this. How many times do you, do you not you, but you, yes. would you say any of your friends or any anybody for that matter, mm -hmm. lie daily or weekly? How, how many how many lies do you think you're, even your friends, your own, your own personal friends that you hang out with, lie about things? So. Okay, so I don't have, I, ha I know a lot of people, but okay. I don't have a lot of very close friends, well, that's fine. right? Okay, so, um, yeah, and, and so with that, I know with, I can only speak to my close friends that I speak mm -hmm. to on a daily basis, of course. Um, they don't, we don't, we don't do that because okay. that's not what our friendships are about. We're very, you know, to a fault, mm -hmm. honest with each other. Um, and we just hope that, you know, not that we hope, but we've established, um, you know, a, a certain form of, how can I say it? Um, a level of truth, a level of, of um, oh my gosh, what's the word? Give me the word. A level of confidence, confidence right, in our friendship that we can we can give constructive criticism, okay? okay? Let's call it that, constructive criticism. And the other person is not going to be offended. Okay. You know, we may sit back and go, really? Is that what you really think? Okay, and well, then we can talk it out and it's good. But. Okay, but forget, so, so forget about friends because clearly your friends are like very yeah, down the yeah. earth and they're going right. to really tell you the gun on truth. And, yes. that's, and that's great. Right. Great to have friends but, like that. But... Maybe acquaintances or right. people that you just see around the ways. Yeah. Have you caught? Have you personally caught people telling like just little lies? I think I've I've caught people mostly embellishing stories. Mm. So you is, know? That a, is that a lie? Sure, because it didn't happen. If you have to there embellish a story, so okay, that might be a good definition of a there you go. lie. Okay, okay, there we go. We're there you go. There you go. <laughs> so embellishing a story. So it's a nice fruitful story too. Right. And you, and you just got to give it that little extra oomph to make it sound better, to make it sound like more, Or make you know, it sound intriguing. like a hero. Right, right. <laughs> right? Like, okay. oh my gosh. Okay, so you're not really hurting anybody. Right. You're just telling the story and you're shushing it up a bit. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. All right, I'm going to go with that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. It happens. All right. Happens. Okay. But I think if I can go back to like even relationships, I think a lot of people lie in relationships a lot. Of course they do. Right? Yeah. And, and, and. It turns out it they, it turns out like or sorry it starts mm -hmm. as a little to that person. Yes, okay, to the lie. person telling the lie. Yes, we right? established that. Good. And uh -huh. but then they continue to tell so many little that's lies. That's right. Ah, that turns to that's big ones. yes, yes. That right? you're so right. You're so right. And it's it's as people say. You know, when you start right. a lie, where does it end? Exactly. You know, where does it end? Right. And then sometimes when you tell that little lie, you got to now keep. Continuing with the lie. That's right. And then you got to remember the lie, the lie that you told yeah. mm -hmm. because then it's like you say something like, and then the person's like, wait a minute, I thought you said, mm -hmm. like, no, 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 what happened was. <laughs> what that happened was. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. So that's when it now becomes that bigger lie yes. because now you're continuing, you're, you're adding on to that lie. So yes. Right? Absolutely. So well, you're yeah. absolutely right. Okay. Like the girl, you know, who was at the club who you didn't actually get the number from and you told your boys, hey, I got her number, right? Right. right. Yeah. Right. Is that a little white lie? Well, or the girl that you said you were dating, and then you know your friends like, hey, did you did you, you know, well, get with that? And they're like, go. yeah, you know. <laughs> but they didn't really answer <laughs> the did. question. That's true. That's they didn't true. answer the that's question. Left up to your you know imagination. I mean? like, yeah. yeah, you know, you know, you know me. <laughs> you know. And then in your mind, you're like, well, yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah. 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 Right. But he doesn't correct you. Right, right. You just allow it to happen. Right. And at the end of the day, it doesn't affect him. Right. You and know it's about it. So you he can't say that he didn't lie. That's true. That he didn't really he didn't say, say anything. anything. So then that leads into my next point. Right. Lying by omission. This is huge. Okay. So 
we all think that telling the lie is the lie. Like, that's the lie. But what about just not saying anything, like you said? Right. You know, somebody says something, oh, did you hit it? <laughs> and you just exactly. really don't just answer kinda, the question? Yeah, right. Um, lying by omission. What do you think? Well, that's the thing. I think it's 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 bad when you don't you don't clarify what happens. Right. Right. So if mm. somebody if somebody feels a certain way or they or they're thinking yeah. a certain way and you don't correct them. Yes. Or you don't give them the true story Sorry. or definition of what exactly happened or what the story really was, and you let them walk away and believe, and now, believe and they'll believe. start a broken telephone. Right. Right. Which we know that always happens. Happens all the time. Right. Yeah. So. I think that's just as bad as the as the white lie or, or, and continuing with it, especially when you know what maybe who can end up hurting. Absolutely, I I, I totally agree. I mean, like I and I'm, now I'm gonna you know out myself, but you know I've been in a relationship where you know the freedom factor wasn't so good, unfortunately. Right. Right. Um, and so you know when you want a little alone time, let's mm -hmm. just say I, I'm notorious for going to movies by myself because I really just don't like to hear people talking and, and guessing what's going to happen next. It drives me crazy. I just don't like children making a bunch of noise on the movie that they shouldn't be in. You know, honestly, I don't even mind other, other people's noise. I just don't want some of them beside me. To right. Like, right. Right. I'm right. not having that. Yeah. So, um, you know, I would, I, I've left work on occasion early mm -hmm. um, without telling my partner uh, that I was, you know, I just wanted to go see a movie, but I just didn't want drama, so I didn't say anything. But, so what if your partner not, wanted to go? But that's the whole point. I want to go by myself. Okay. You know, and then when you don't want to tell your partner that you want to go by yourself because it might offend them, okay. right? You, I just go. Like I do what I have to do. So what happens when your partner says, "So what did you do today?" What are you tell them? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! So is that a little, is that a little white lie? Sounds uh, like one to me. You know what? The joy is that you hope they just don't ask because they assume you're at work. But they sometimes you know? ask, right? They they normally ask. Well, what did you do today? I went to no, but I went to work. But you're still not telling them what uh, you I, really did all day. But I omit the movie part. Okay. But I did go to work. So that's a little white lie. No, that's a line by omission. Well, it is, but still. I mean, little, okay, yeah, okay. If they if they ask. <laughs> mm, <laughs> so the little white lie at the end of the day is something that really isn't going to hurt someone. Right. And so if you're lying by omission in an instance like this, okay. that could be considered a little white lie. Okay, fine, because I'm not actually hurting anybody. But, but here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the kicker. Yeah. We may not think we're hurting them, but by by the time they ask you that question and you actually say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I really did go to a movie. But why would I say that? No, I'm just saying. Okay. I'm not saying you may say that. I'm not going to say it either. Right. But there's a person that may say that. And then, they're, and then they're conscious, offended. they're guilty yes. conscience, yes. And that, that's that's a whole other thing, is right. the guilty conscience. Yes, after you've said the lie, the lie by omission, whether you, you know, flat out come up with a lie, um, it's the guilt after. Right, and then yeah. you have that person that, even though it's a small thing that you, like, I wanted to go just yeah. to be by myself. Yeah. Sometimes people, your partner or, or that person, your friend, doesn't understand that. They don't. And, 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 and they get offended. They, right. get, they get into their feelings. Right. And, and hence why we... we we hold things back right. from our friends, our partners, whoever, our boss, right? Oh, for sure. Because yes. you know that yes. if you say it, then they're going to have an issue with it. And sometimes you just don't want to hear it. Exactly. Up. I just don't want to hear it. And sometimes people tell these little white lies or they omit things because mm -hmm. they just don't want to have to explain anything. Fair. Fair. Right? Yes. Like you're just in that mood where it's like, okay, well, I just don't want to have to explain this. So I'm just not going to say anything about it. Mm -hmm. but does it make it right? It's does, is any of it... Right. It, it depends. Yeah. I think there's I, I think there's a gray area. This is massive gray area. Here. Yes. Yeah. I think a gray area. Yeah. Right? This is this is oh. Whoa. Right? Oh man. It's like, okay, do I, I would love I would I, I would really love audience feedback with this one. Honestly. Uh, I, I think this is this is a huge one because yeah. we've all done it. I mean we have all done it. Whether we want to admit it or right. not, right. we have all lied. So if there's anybody out there that's watching this podcast and you wanna ask us any questions, mm -hmm. just hit us down below. Give, give us your feedback and yeah. let us know what you want to ask. If you have any questions about anything or, or comments, comments suggestions. or just what's your thoughts? What, what are your thoughts about little white lies and omitted things? Like, what, what, what do you have to say about that? Exactly. And what about um, lying to yourself? Which we, which we <laughs> this is, um, I don't know. I think people lie to themselves every day. Yeah. Sometimes it's a confidence booster for them. I don't know. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which, which, is, not a bad, the which is not a bad thing. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. Confidence is amazing. So, yeah. so ultimately, okay, so you're going to talk about it from a confidence perspective. Um, but yeah, when you're lying to yourself about, yeah. you know, I look good, it's, it's a confidence thing. Yeah, it's a confidence thing. You know, thing. but hopefully you're not lying. Or you're lying to yourself about the status of your relationship, like where it is. That... That's huge. That is huge. That and is and I think a lot of people do that all the time. Yes. Right? Yes. Or they yeah. and, and they, they call it, well, I'm just turning a blind eye to it. I didn't really notice. But you know you notice. You're, yeah. li- you're lying to yourself. You know. You know what's going on. You're lying to yourself, you're lying to your people around you, yeah, you're you lying to your you support system, you're lying to everybody because you just don't want to own it. You, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, I, and then to be honest with you, that could be a whole other podcast. It is. It really is. Because I think uh, unfortunately we live in a society where you know, especially if people look at relationships and right. they, they look at you like, oh my gosh, you guys are so good together. And of course, you're posting all these fabulous pictures on Facebook of your vacations and your walks along the boardwalk. Oh, come on. You know, and the reality is you fight like cat and dog in the background. Well, here's the thing. And, I, and I'm going to say it. Yeah. And I'm going to look at the camera and I'm going to say it to everybody. Yeah. Instagram, a lot of those pictures are a lie. You ain't living like that. A lot. Instagram, Facebook. I'm a Facebooker, but yeah. 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 I know well, you're Facebook's you're almost dead, so. You gotta step really? up. Really? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Show an age right here. So, yeah. Oh, you could have just lied by omission and not said that. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. <laughs> what Whatever. What do, what do you want me to do? No, but, uh, no, but honestly, like, you see these pictures, you see these fabulous things that people are doing. Yeah. Um, they're living these lives, they're posting everything, like, oh, this is my life, this is my life. Yes. But that's not really you. No, you're right. That is not right. you. Yeah, no, right? I, I so, agree. That, that is a person that's lying to themselves every day. Mm-hmm. And I get it because, you know, with the power of social media, it's get, it's getting you that attention. Maybe it's making you feel more confident, confident. within yourself. And because people are liking and they're commenting. Yeah. And, yeah. But yeah then, giving you that boost. But then you, you walk outside of that, that box. You get a, you get outside of that social media and you go in the real world. And it's like, okay, you're not getting all that attention. That's right. right? Yes. So yes. you're living a lie. And, and can you deal with that on a regular basis? That's right. But I think people can. Because they post every day. Well, I mean, so just reinforces the lie. But some people can't. Fair. And I mean, and not to get off topic, but that's kind of the reason why Instagram got rid of like for people to see how many likes they got. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I think that was actually quite brilliant of them to to get rid of that. Right. Yeah. No, I I absolutely agree. And I mean, lying to yourself comes in so many different, you know ways whether it's about your finances, you know, whether it's about how bratty your children are. uh, Oh. Oh, how good my children are. Yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. Generally I mean, it's, it's one of those things. Our things in the little butts, but that's okay. <laughs> but they're cute. Yes, yes. Yes. But, um, yeah, I think lying, lying to yourself is really a huge deal because a lot of us don't even own the fact that we lie to ourselves. You know, we just live this life and we go day to day and, you know, we pretend we have more than we do and, you know, live way outside of our means, which yes. is, which is a thing. That is a um, thing. Yeah. That I, is a big What they thing. say, if you're, if you're not in debt, you're not Canadian, I guess. Right. right? Um, I don't know why or you, want, that, to, or you yeah. want to keep up with Joneses. Just keep up with the Joneses. Does that still exists, Or is it the yes. Kardashians? Ah! Well, that was the Kardashians. <laughs> So I'm dating myself when I say the Joneses. <laughs> there you go. Because it is the Kardashians. Yeah, it's the Kardashians, yeah. right? But no, I mean, you know, it's 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 one big facade, and and lying is something that is almost normal now. Yeah. Right? It's it's almost something that people, especially in that in that realm. Yes. Like you know, lying to themselves. Right. It's, Trying it's, to be all fabulous. Yeah. It's it's the really it's the really the social media era. Right. Uh, we want to look this way. We want to portray that we're this way. So, mm-hmm. we, so we lie mm-hmm. to ourselves, to our friends, our families, and whatever. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you're only really hurting yourself. Absolutely. I actually have a, okay, so I have this little story. Um, I am a Value Village shopper. I shouldn't say Value Village shopper. That's funny. That's good. <laughs> I didn't get paid from that for that plug, but no. Right. <laughs> So I, I love, I'm, a, I'm a thrift shopper. Like I love shopping, you know, cheap right, right. and getting some really cool deals. Cause I just right. think there's just, first of all, way too much clothing and right. stuff out there in the world. Mm-hmm. And I just, I don't get it. So I mean, walking into malls gives me an absolute headache and the prices give me a bigger headache. I, so I can't stand going to the mall yeah. myself personally. But. So I, I'm all about the thrift. And so, anyways, I got a pair of um, of uh, what are the red? See, I don't even know the red bottom boots. No, what is it? the they're uh, Louboutins. Louboutins. Okay, yes, Christian Louboutins. I really did. Cute. And so I posted them on Facebook. So if you scroll to my Facebook page, you're probably going to see the Louboutins. And um, 
they were like $17. What? <laughs> and I know this sounds crazy, but they are fabulous. And the reason yeah, I posted I it was because the person who obviously priced it didn't know the price of right, these boots. Right, right, right. And so they, it, I bought them at the 50% off sale at Valley Village too. So wow. <laughs> tell, them, tell them all my business. But um, so when I posted them, I have a friend, a very good friend of mine. And Richard, I'm about to call you up right now. Yes, I am. And so Richard says to me, why would you post that? And I'm like, well, why not? I don't understand. He's like, you don't tell people those things. And I'm like, but why? why right? And he's just like, because sometimes just leave it alone. Like, you know, you, you have to omit that. Like, yeah, yeah. lie by omission. Just yeah. don't say it. Don't tell and, it, and it's not anything that I had to put out there, right? right. Or right. I could have kept it to myself. It was really no big deal. I wasn't hurting anybody. Yeah. Yeah. But I felt like this is super cool. And anybody who's thought about thrift shopping, I've actually led a lot of people down that path lately. Yeah. Um, who said they would never wear, you know, secondhand clothes and they would never, oh my gosh, have you try on stuff there and whatnot, whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, when you walk into a store and you're paying, you know, a hundred dollars for a sweater, I can mm -hmm. guarantee you about 10 people have tried it on already. So, you know, or it's come yeah. from a box, a box sitting in a yeah. rat infested yeah. warehouse yeah. somewhere uh, and on a boat, on a train, on a plane, uh, yeah. something. Okay. So whatever. It's been used. Yeah. And you need to just wash it like everything yes. else. I hope you wash. Yes. Um, so yeah. So when he says to me, Kathy, you shouldn't, you should post that. Like, just yourself and I was like but no um I I I am welcoming the you know sharing yeah, the information right? wrong with that. I actually took my daughter to a thrift shop the other day because actually she asked me mm -hmm. to take her so she goes there all the time so there ain't nothing wrong with that I mean I agree. you know like if you can if you can find something that works for you mm -hmm. and someone says not? where did you get it I, I know what the label says right but the truth yeah. is I got it at VV Boutique. It's just that simple. Right? <laughs> and there's no shame in my game. I don't have a problem with that. There is nothing wrong with that. Right. And other people will say, well, you don't have to tell everybody. And I'm right. like, but I do. But that's, but, I do. but that's the reason. That's the thing, though. Like, people feel that they need to do that because they feel like, okay, I'm ashamed. Yeah. I'm right? not ashamed. So when, when people are ashamed of themselves or mm -hmm. things that they do, yeah. then maybe you shouldn't do it if you're right. ashamed of it. Right, right. Well, now let me catch you in BB Blue too, because I will call you out. Right, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So now that we have to wrap up our show we for the to day, we do. Ready. I think we do. No. Yes, we don't want y'all getting too bored of us now, right? And we, but we do welcome your feedback, so that if we're going to continue right. this chat, maybe we we do a part two to this. I'm not sure. Um, but in conclusion, so just to wrap it up, I think it's you know a lie is a lie is a lie. Whether you're lying by omission, right? Lying I'm to yourself. Still, see, I'm still going to say a white lie is okay. Okay. Right? As long as you are not directly affecting and or yeah, hurting someone. That's what in I'm any saying. Way. So when your girlfriend calls and she says, what are you doing? And you say that my mother, has, she needs me for something. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Just okay. Don't do it. Just don't lie and, to me. And if you have to be with someone that you have to do that with, then I'm questioning okay, the relationship. Sure. Just don't lie to me if you see like any like green lettuce in my teeth. Just please tell me. That's yes. Zippers down, yes. lettuce in teeth, you right? You can't have me walking around smiling and yeah. I have lettuce in my teeth. Yeah. Come on, man. No, that's some serious line about omission. Just not telling you and embarrassing right? you? Maybe they just don't like you. Right? <laughs> they couldn't like you. I see that, I see like, that happen. But it's like the friends. Do you look happen. good? I see that happen to, to a friend of mine at work and I, I didn't see it. And then uh, somebody said, she was she was telling me that she was talking to somebody all day yep. and they didn't tell her. That, no, that will piss me off. Yeah. Yes, 100%. So that's wrong. That is very that wrong. That is so wrong. Yes, yes. I was at um, an event with a bunch of dignitaries, actually, and I was with uh, another official, city official, and he says, the guy's zipper is down. I don't know if you can hear me, but the guy's zipper was down. Yeah. That's and that's I was like, well, we should tell him. He said, right. we should tell him. And once we pointed it out, he was so... So not embarrassed, but just so relieved that he didn't get up on a stage with right. his zipper down because right. he's official and nobody's you know gonna approach yeah. him and stuff like that. But everybody would have been talking about it. So at the end of the evening, he came up and thanked me, and it was you know it was good. But yeah, nice. you don't want to do that to people, right? Yeah, just sure, just come sure. out with it. Be honest. Don't just not say anything. Um, yeah. That's not really lying. That's not really considered lying, but lying by omission and just not saying anything. Exactly. Right, I guess. Yeah. Roughly, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to draw a parallel there. Hang on one second. Um, but yeah, just once again, to conclude, um, lying is just bad. Just bad. It's just bad. You know, whether you are lying to yourself or lying to your partner, lying at work, you know, trying to get out of work because you need that day off. You're trying to go to a movie by yourself. Just stop it. Just saying. Stop it. <laughs> 
I did a lot of work. I got someone to cover me, but you know. <laughs> I just want to go to myself. I just want to watch about myself. Yeah, you know, but then when they say, oh, I really want to go see this movie, you're like, okay. So, Kathy, what'd you, you do today? <laughs> you, <laughs> work. you have to pretend you didn't see it. That's the hard part, yeah. right? It's just, it. yeah. Okay, fine. I lied. Man. I own it. There's I so can, much I can say. I know. We're out of time. We're out of time. We're out of time. Yes, we are. So, until, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Life Stripes with Kathy and Duke is wrapping up. Uh, but we definitely, definitely want you to continue watching. Uh, there's more to come. And log on to sure. uh, to watch us on YouTube and uh, everywhere else that you're going to see that we're, we're posted. But until next Instagram time. Instagram and everything. Instagram, of course, Instagram. Yeah, I don't know about Facebook. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> uh, it's awful. I'm just saying. Breaching too, privacies and stuff. Too much. I give you permission <laughs> to post. Um, but until next time. Peace out. Peace.